Hello everyone, Chris Assis here, and today for the exercise of the week, we will attempt to um, go a little bit deeper and um, explore ways uh, to that will allow us to uh, break up already established patterns, um, re-examine our habits, and uh, see if we can create new ones or if we can at least explore the option of new uh, habits so uh, we have been working on this uh, theme of uh, uniqueness and expressivity uh, and one thing that uh, one of the things that allows would allow us to express ourselves more and express what makes us unique um, is the our ability to break habits and patterns that we have created, examine them, re-explore them, revisit them, and then possibly create new ones. And uh, so expand our vocabulary and expand in the ways that we have in order to um, express ourselves. So with no further ado, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to stay here close to you for this one. And um, I want you to place your hand at the base of your head, where your skull meets your neck. And we are going to isolate movement there. Um, there are a lot of nerves going through and um, there is usually a lot of unnecessary hold that we have in the neck. So managing to move the head to isolate will allow you to, and this is a way to know, it is it creates a numb feeling, not too much feedback. If you get too much feedback, you're probably going too far, but a numb feeling and almost like a weird realignment. So Focusing there, you can place one hand there if you like, and if it helps, you can have your eyes closed or open, whatever works best for you. And we're starting by nodding the head, yes and no, yes and no. And then when you're ready, you can release the touch. I'm just going to turn so you can see me on this angle as well. I want you to feel what the what this movement feels like. It's not a straight up and down. It has a little bit of a a slide to it. So I want you to feel that slide right there, right at this spot. Let's go on for a little bit more. And of course you can increase a, the time you spend for any one of these as much as you like. And of course, as we were saying before, uh, you, you might have more or less flexibility than me. Just make sure this is too much, for example. Uh, don't look for huge amount of feedback. If you're getting too much feedback from this movement, you're probably gone too far. All right, and settle back into the middle. Turn. So let's go from uh, side to side. So we have a little bit of uh, ability to go into a side to side movement. So this is two forms. Already starting to feel the stretch and all that nice stuff, which is not necessary for the moment. Try to feel how this movement is happening at the base of the neck. Nice and gently. Don't look for too much feedback. And of course you can always test your limits. Like for example, this is too much. I'm already feeling I'm, I'm pushing away my my way into something different. So you can test your limits and then and then say, okay, that was too much. Let me take it down a notch.
good. And when you're ready, come back into center and go from one diagonal to the other. So not a full turn because this is now, my neck is getting involved in part of my um, thoracic spine. So this is too far. So we want to stay in that same area. So it's more of a diagonal. Here we go. Very gentle. And if you're already feeling your neck relaxing, or at least some realignment happening, that's good. Small movement, small and subtle. And this is very nice to do if you are stressed out, you know, in your office. It takes almost like no time. And it's very nice, very calming. And now we're going to come back into center and we're going to do this movement and this movement put together and put together makes a circle you're going to start noticing that other things might be asking for your attention like i know my noticing my right shoulder and shoulder blade are calling me saying hey something is happening here right so th certain things like that will tell you that this is working and refers to your circles and this is a two axis movement we'll soon make it triaxial you also might notice that your breath is slowing down and that the rest of your spine is becoming softer. Without collapsing though, so there is still elongation, but certain things you have let go. Okay, settle back into the center and now we're going to put this movement in. And now this becomes triaxial, three axes of movement. And what kind of movement is this? What kind of shape is this, my lovely tangeros? It's a figure eight. Make sure you're not overdoing it. Come back into center and reverse. And don't worry, one side might be working better than the other. and settle take a moment okay and now with all that nice stuff find your posture and we're going to bring all of these things that we worked on the previous weeks together bring the arms up connecting the ribs to lifting up the arms and finding your embrace from the top of the rib to from the lowest part of the rib cage to the top of the rib cage and see how that feels in now that you have your your neck slightly realigned possibly and go from side to side to start and then add a little rotation but don't forget to include the head so your head is turning slightly to the right while your torso slightly to the left and your hips slightly to the right. 
And at the same time, the rib cage is following and extending this movement into the arms. Gently going from side to side. And you can tell yourself this is only for today. You can go back to what you were doing before anytime you like. Just try this only for today. And I'm just going to turn so you can see me from this other direction. So before you were probably doing something like this, especially keeping the top steady, but also everything, most likely keeping everything uh, as separate blocks. But for today, we want everything to work together. Everything to work together. Let those pieces speak to one another. And of course, if you're a leader, it's the same thing, different frame. Last time. Good. And release. 